Ciao, mi Milanisti. It's your boy Cush in the Milan Corner. Milan is willing to pay a higher price point than the 32 million offer they have on the table right now. The other report from Gianluca Di Marzo is even more interesting because he revealed that Charles de Ketelier's mother was actually in Milan looking for a new house. Time after time, we hear that this deal is gonna be done this week. Is this week gonna be the week that the deal actually gets done? And what happened to that Hakim Ziyech story? Where is he? Is Milan signing anybody? These are some of the stories and profiles we're gonna be covering in today's episode of Rumor or Real. So Club Bruges played their opening fixture, the opening fixture of the Belgian league against Gent. The coach of Club Bruges decided to drop Charles de Ketelier. He was not on the called up list. Now reports then came out that Charles de Ketelier's camp actually made that request to the coach, to the ownership group to not play him. They don't want to risk any type of an injury to Charles before a potential move away from Club Bruges. Now, some people in the Twitter will interpret that as, well, he's gonna be coming to Milan. But guys, here's the thing. He just doesn't wanna play for Club Bruges and get injured. That doesn't mean he's coming to Milan. That means he just wants a move away from that club. That could be AC Milan. That could also be Leeds United. And now before I jump into my take about the whole CDK situation, and how upset you guys are with the management, let me just tell you something. Now, Charles's move to Milan might not be a guarantee yet, but one guarantee that I can give you is you'll find out about it on the OneFootball app. You know what else you're gonna find out on the One Football app? About everything that is happening in the world of football. The One Football app covers content from 150 plus football leagues. Guys, you can get some of the most extensive amount of match highlights on the One Football app. This is all for free. I know those of you guys who have the One Football app know what I'm talking about, but if you haven't downloaded that, guys, you have to click the link in the description. Download the One Football app and be in the know about the world of football. Now, Milan's last offer to Club Bruges for this player was 32 million, including bonuses. 30 million plus 2 million in bonuses. 1 million in bonuses was easily attainable. The other 1 million in bonuses is a more complicated milestone, so they might not actually hit that level. Now, here's what I wanna say about this whole situation. Milanisti, I know I've been reading all your comments. A lot of you guys have been getting mad at me that I've been sympathizing with Redbird. I've been supporting them. I'm not calling them out for not having gotten this deal done. Elliot are unquestionably still making a lot of the decisions with the blessing of Red Bird and Paolo Maldini and the managers are executing those calls. At some point in time, Leeds made an offer to Club Bruges for Charles de Ketelier for around the 37 million mark. Now, we've also heard that Leeds made an offer probably closer to 40 million. Now, Milanisti, as a football owning company, Elliot and whoever it is that is making these decisions has to look at it from this perspective. What is the actual value of the player? If the value of the player is somewhere closer to that 30 million mark, and we've made an offer for 32 million, that's good enough. Paolo Maldini a while ago said that Milan is not gonna get sucked into auctions. And this is what it pretty much is turning out to be. Just because Leeds made an offer for this player for 40 million, doesn't mean that Milan has to get close to beating that price. You have to look at the actual evaluation of the player. Now, I don't have the time to sit around and see what the comparative analysis on this player is. But what I do know is, AC Milan has that strength. AC Milan and their organization and their scouting department and the managers have shown that we can value players well. We valued Sandro Tonali perfectly, Fikayo Tomori, Ismail Benacer, Rafael Leao, Teo Hernandez, the list goes on and on. So it's not that I'm supporting Redbird or I'm supporting XYZ. I'm supporting what I have seen. I have seen this club make right decisions when it comes to valuing players. Look, here's the reality. This club is trending forward. It doesn't matter what anybody says. Everything that I've seen from this organization tells me good things. They have come in, they have fixed our finances. They have lowered our salary. They have scouted the heck out of good quality players. They've brought on good players that have costed us much less than what the market would have probably paid for them. They have then gone on to bring us back into the Champions League. And in the next season, the consecutive season, they have got us a Serie A title. That trophy that you can now see at Casa Milan is because of this ownership, this management group. I cannot pull the plug on them a month and a half or two months after winning the title. And now let me ask you guys something. How many of you even knew who CDK was till two months ago? Who brought this player to limelight, to attention, to your attention? It's this management that brought limelight to this player. So now let's trust the management to get this deal done. Now here's the good news, a little bit of hope that we have. Two things that happened. First of all, Charles de Ketelier said, I don't wanna play that first opening match. And at the same time, Gianluca Di Marzio reported that Charles de Ketelier's mother was in Milan 
looking for a property, looking for a new house. Now, unless Milan has decided to sign her for the women's team, I'm pretty sure this house is for Charles. And that is a pretty positive development for us. On the rumor real meter, I think you guys know where I sit. I think it's everybody knows where this whole equation sits. It's real, but they don't want to overspend. And I respect the club for this. Now, there was one report that I didn't exactly like, and that report suggested that Milan is looking at CDK. And if CDK doesn't work out, then they're going to be looking at Hakim Ziyech. I thought we we're getting both the players. Guys, we need a right winger. We need a right winger. We cannot be banking on Alexis Alamakers and Junior Macias. Not anymore. Look, if it was three years ago and we're still trying to build a team, if Milan had finished in fourth place last season, I would say, hey, you know what? Let's give Alexis another season. Let's give Junior Macias another season. Now that you've won the title, you've shown your quality. You've shown your capability. It's time to grow. The next step is to do well in the Champions League. Now, what is my expectation for Milan for the next Champions League? I'm a realistic guy. I'm okay with the slow grind. I'm a patient man. Get out of the group stage. That's all that I want. Just trying to win two or three games. Get out of the group stage. That 15, 17, 18 million that we can get in just a lone prize money from getting out from the group stage and going into the knockout rounds can be huge for a club like Milan, a club that is trying to be fiscally responsible. You cannot build a freaking football club on the owners constantly dumping money into the organization. It's going to flop at some point of time. And in order for this club to be able to take that next step, we do need an upgrade on that right wing department. At this point in time, there has been a little bit more of an optimism with the Hakim Ziyech move. There were reports that Chelsea is now softening their stance on letting this player go. Before they were fixated on loan plus an obligation to buy. Now they're open to a loan plus option to buy at around that 20, maybe 25 million mark. That is something that Milan prefers. His sticking point is a 6 million salary. Some reports are saying that Chelsea might actually be open to subsidizing his salary as well, just like they did with Lukaku for Inter. So I believe if Chelsea is willing to pay around 1.5 million to 2 million of Hakim Ziyech's salary, Milan will bring that player on board. At this point in time on the rumor real meter, I'm gonna downgrade Hakim Ziyech from real to possible. I think really that's where we stand. The entire efforts are focused on Charles de Ketelier, but DDK is not enough. We need Hakim Ziyech. Now, hopefully we can put a complete rest to the whole Renato Sanchez situation, but the latest that we know about this deal is this. Eventually, Sanchez and his agent both got pretty annoyed with PSG for the lack of movement on this offer. There were some reports that started to claim that he might actually still potentially come to AC Milan. And then they started saying that Paolo Maldini is getting tired of the back and forth. Paolo Maldini getting tired of the back and forth? You know how much back and forth we're doing with Club Rouge? Renato Sanchez's agent wants to make a deal done by Wednesday. Wednesday is a self-imposed deadline by which Renato Sanchez wants to make a firm decision on where he goes. The latest reports by the Italian journalist is claiming that Renato Sanchez is very, very close to getting a deal done with PSG. At this point in time, I think even in the last interview when I talked to Martino Puccio, we had pretty much the same sentiment. I think we're done with the Renato Sanchez deal. I don't think he's going to join. I kind of don't want him to at this point. This is just, it's tiring. The saga is ridiculous. The salary just keeps going up and you know, it's risky. It, it really is like the, the amount of injuries that he's had, I would have been way more comfortable with, with Dybala. I think we've seen what Yassin Adli can do. I think we have some belief in Pobega. We know what Sandro Tonali and Ben Acer can pull off. And I think at this point in time, we just kind of want to pass on the keys to Yassin Adli, probably the one player that I'm most excited about this season. Let me know in the comment section, which player are you most looking forward to play for Milan next season? And now with the whole Renato Sanchez deal falling apart, it looks like Milan has made an offer for Aston Villa's Carne Chocomeca. Now this is another young central midfielder player. I don't even think he's 20 years old yet. He is being scouted by Barcelona. Milan has shown a good eye for young talent. They got Pierre Kalulu. They got someone like Yassin Adli. Not too many details about the offer itself, but it looks like Milan has made a first bid for this player. If I had to guess, probably a loan move, but the player's value at this point in time is probably somewhere around that 10 million mark. I would call this possible. I think it's a profile that works for Milan. It's a young player, not gonna cost too much. Maybe a loan move, so I'm gonna call this possible. There you have it, Milan. You see, those are some of the profiles we wanted to talk about. I know you guys are irritated. I know you guys are annoyed. I have seen your comments. I have seen your Instagram messages. Guys, I can't be the guy who starts panicking. I have to be that guy who gives you an outlet in the comment section and say exactly what you feel. But at the same time, I gotta, I gotta be here to calm you down. But the comment section is still an outlet for you guys. So go crazy. 
comment. Let me know what you guys think. How annoyed are you that Charles de Ketelier is still not at Milan? And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit the bell notifications. You can watch the Milan Corner videos as soon as I upload them. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at the Milan Corner. And as always, guys, Forza Milan, grazie mille e ciao a tutti.